Felix Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Today is request time once again here on the channel. And we're going to be drawing, believe it or not, Valerie from Josie and the Pussycats. And this request comes from a very recent uh, channel subscriber, uh, Julie. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the idea, Julie. Julie, I guess, likes Valerie. And uh, she put the challenge to me. Maybe she doesn't think I could draw a Valerie. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best here. Um, and I know I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of requests in the queue, uh, and I will be getting to them, believe me. Um, the channel, fortunately, ain't going nowhere, so we got plenty of time to get through everything. Um, but I did, uh, I did bump up Valerie in the queue just because, um, just because Valerie's an easy one, uh, and... Uh, I don't know if I do enough girls on the, uh, on the channel. You know, I, I, uh, yeah, I do. I've, I've done some Betty and Veronica stuff. I, I've got a Sabrina on the works that I will be coming back to and finishing soon. Um, uh, but I don't know about any, any others. So I figured it's always, you know, any chance I get to, uh, to broaden the old spectrum, I should take advantage. So just explaining what I'm doing, I'm just very, very lightly scribbling in. This is this is what's known as a gesture drawing, where I'm not really not really paying attention a whole lot to the 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 uh, details of the figure. I'm really mostly about just getting a figure down, getting down a pose. And I did scribble, uh, scribble out a pose um, uh, before before recording, just so that I could have a you know, just so I'm not wasting time just trying to come up with the pose while uh, while we're recording. I kind of wanted that already done. So what I'm doing is just scribbling down. And, and I notice, I like to move all over the whole figure. I don't like to just start at the head, draw a beautiful head, and then move my way down the neck, down the torso, down the arms and legs. No, I, I move all over the whole figure. And this just lets me really keep, be aware of all of the figure. And this way I can make sure that all of the figure um, that all the different parts of the figure work well together. You know, I'm not draw I'm not drawing a, a really nice head on top of uh, a really nice body, and then really not so nice, um, out of proportion, short legs. You know, this way, I'm pretty sure all of the figure is working out okay. And I'm very roughly kind of modifying, tweaking the figure, making her hopefully look okay. And yeah, yeah, I, I erase. I, I will erase and I will nuke stuff on the on the figure. Um, because, you know, if it's not working out, don't be afraid to erase and, and start over. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how far along you are. You want to, uh, you know, if it's not, if it's not working, it's not working. So there is no shame. I, I personally, I always say drawing things over and over is, is just more practice. So and I'm drawing, trying to draw uh, Valerie here in a nice, active pose. Nice, animated pose. I'm also you drawing her with her um, uh, the tambourines rather than the bass. Um, 
Valerie, Valerie is the pussycat's basis. Um, but in the cartoon, she was always pictured. Um, well, I don't know about always, but often she she was uh, pictured with the uh, the tambourines. Um, so I think I think doing that here gives her kind of a nice animated feel. And I can't forget her cat ears. Gives it a nice tribute to the the Hanna Barbera cartoon which I think is where a lot of people know uh, Josie and the Pussycats from. The Hanna-Barbera cartoon. And maybe some people might actually know her from uh, from the movie. What was the movie? 1999, I think. And a lot of people like to knock that movie, but, you know, I, I that movie was... First of all, it was better than I expected it. And secondly, you can say what you want, but it's got a great soundtrack. The music on the movie is, is pretty good. It's been a while since I've since I've put it in, so I should really uh, I should really recall it. Now my own experience with as uh, drawing Josie and the Pussycats, believe it or not, that I don't have a lot. Um, in my time at Archie, and I did, I did twenty two years at Archie. Um, I really didn't get a whole lot of of, chan of chances to draw Josie and the Pussycats. Um, first of all, I think during my time there, they they didn't do a whole lot with them. Um, uh, the characters were kind of you know in in, in limbo. Um, I think even when the movie came out, I think they might have had, did they have like a, maybe a couple of mini series or specials? Um, but I, I certainly didn't get to draw those. And I think, um, was Dan DiCarlo still around back then? Um, he was, he was alive, but I, I'm not sure if he was still with Archie. Um, his, his troubles with Archie, uh, were a result of the um the movie uh and that ultimately led to the the rift between de carlo and archie it would be why he he would leave the company um and then he he did unfortunately pass away shortly after so i'm, I'm valerie here is starting to take shape uh Looks like on the on the cartoon her ears were rounder, but I'm gonna make them. I, I like them to be a little bit more cat-like and a little less panther-like, a little less leopard-like. And I'm also giving uh, Valerie a little bit of uh, longer hair than she normally has uh, on the show. On the show that she's given a very short little bob. I want to make it a little longer. Could make it a little more wild too. So notice too, as I go along, I'm not only um, tightening up, neatening up my lines, but I'm also getting darker as I go because I'm getting more definite with what I want to put down. Now, as of uh, this recording, <clears throat> I do want to plug our big 800 subscriber giveaway. We are currently, we're currently speeding. We are careening towards 800 subscribers. And I wanted to do something special. I wanted to do a giveaway once we reach 800 subscribers. I have a video that I, that I, I premiered recently where I, I go over the rules and the prizes for the giveaway. Uh, it's really easy if you want to be eligible for the giveaway. It's really easy to get involved. Um, should I go over it? Yeah, I'll go over it. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram. I am Fernando Ruiz, everybody, all one word. 
just find me on Instagram, throw me a follow, and then find the Instagram post where I announce the contest and just, just reply done, D-O-N-E, and I will know that you are eligible to be in the running. So what I'm going to do, once we hit 800, I'm going to do a special video where I take everybody who has re replied with done. I'm going to take everybody's name, your Instagram name, and I'm going to put all your names into a hat or a bowl, whatever I could get. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, I'll pick a, a name at random out of that hat. Uh, and whoever I, I pick, uh, we've, we've got three prizes to give away. So we've got um, uh, my sketchbooks, but, uh, both volume one and two. So you're going to have the complete set. Uh, that's, third, that's third place. Second place is a sketch card. One sketch card, your choice of character, headshots. Uh, whoever you want, I will draw you a... Um, a sketch card of that character and the that that second place and the grand prize is one full figure commission a character of your choice whoever you want uh, and Valerie is coming together here whoever you want so um, make sure you make sure you're in the running make sure you're eligible for for these prizes as of this recording, we are eight away from the big 800, eight. Um, I'll be honest, we, we're getting there a whole lot faster than, than I really anticipated, than I expected. But uh, that's great, that's a good thing. Uh, how's, how's Valerie looking? Oh, for, I'm forgetting an important aspect of the Pussycats. They have long tails and ears for hats. So I gotta give her her tail. Here's her tail curving around. And how's she looking? Is she looking okay? And the the classic pussycat uniform has the, the white uh, belly area going down the front and then the leopard print which I may neaten up a little later off camera but I want to show you guys how I do it I usually do a, a mix of small solid black spots and larger open spots um, that always just seems a little more naturally leopard like to me so I was saying, um, saying before, I, I, my history with the Pussycats um, is uh, very small, very short. Uh, I, I, I do know I have drawn at least one Josie and the Pussycats story, uh, which I think was for an issue of Archie and Friends. Uh, and the reason I remember this is because my, my friend, Giselle Legacy, uh, who owns and runs Pixie Tricks Comics, uh, the best web comics company around, and you should check out their stuff, PixieTricksComics.com. Uh, and I do I do occasional print specials for them, so if you if you like my work, you'll see some of it there. Uh, but Giselle, Giselle was a former rock star herself. And uh, yeah, she was part of a of a girl band, Barbarella, and uh, so Giselle kn Giselle really knows about music, and uh, she pointed out how um, and I know nothing about music. I, I need to I need to clarify that. So Giselle pointed out how my uh, how horrible my instruments are, <clears throat> and um, yes, uh, I, she she certainly had a point. Um, I'm sure I referenced them because I'm, I'm normally pretty good about referencing. Um, but I'm also pretty sure I had no idea what I was looking at. 
or what I was referencing. So um, uh, she pointed it out to me. Uh, and actually, she also gave me a list of the the guitar and bass models, the specific guitars that she always felt that the Pussycats would be using. Uh, and I have that list somewhere. I gotta, I gotta dig it up or maybe I could ask her to resend it to me. Okay, so Valerie is almost just about done. I'm not gonna take you through the tambourines because that could take me a little bit longer. Um, but I will certainly post the completed Valerie a little later. Um, if you're interested in, in watching me ink Valerie, um, let me know, and I could certainly do that as a, uh, as a, as a separate video. Um, a lot of times I, I don't ink the characters, uh, live because I, I think you guys have seen me ink enough, but a lot of you guys really seem to want to see that. A lot of you guys really like to see all the stages, so I, I don't mind doing that. All right. So that is, that is Valerie, just about. I, she also needs her, her spots on her tails. So don't forget the contest. And don't forget if you, if you liked this video, if you like this video, sh uh, show it by uh, clicking like. Uh, I need likes. I need people to say they like me. Um, so click like. Uh, if you if you're not a subscriber, this is a great time to subscribe. Help us help us get to the 800. Um, and uh, if you want to share, I have no qualms with anybody sharing anything that I put out there. And that's true about artwork that I post too. If, if you ever if you guys follow me on Instagram uh, or Facebook, and the links to all my social media, they're always in the description below. Um, but if you follow me uh, on any of that and you see me post stuff and you, you feel you've got friends who might be interested in, in what I'm putting out there, uh, by all means, by all means, share. Feel free to share. I mean, that's, that's why I put it out there so people can see it. Okay, so that is, this is, this is Valerie. I hope... Uh, Valerie Smith was her full name. And Valerie, Valerie has the distinction of, I, am, I believe I'm correct about this. If I'm not, please, uh, please correct me in the comments below. But Valerie has the distinction of being the very first uh, African-American animated character to have a regular role in a, in a regular cartoon series. So way to go. Way to represent Valerie. Okay. So that's Valerie, and this is me. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click like. As always, keep drawing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.